Hello and welcome to the highlights of the classic Lorient and Glomeracy on the trophy. Sarah Tizit, round 20 in the Women's World Tour for 2022. A new course for the riders with 158.4 kilometres in total, heading west from Plouay to the coast before returning to the traditional circuit. 2.7 laps with 11.7 kilometres in total and two climbs, the Rosteval and Le Lezo on each lap. They would climb Le Lezo for the first time out of the blocks. Beautiful sunny day for the riders. Georgia Williams of Team Bike Exchange would go on the attack, 150 kilometres to go, and she would be chased hard by a group of 14 riders. And this would be very much the story of the day. The only teams to miss out were FDJ Suez for Turoscope and Canyon Shram. As the peloton had the breakaway in their sights, it was Sarah Martin of Team Movistar that jumped clear of the breakaway group, and she would build a significant advantage as they headed back towards Plouë. Fabulous time trialist is the 23-year-old Spanish rider. The breakaway was still holding a small advantage over the peloton behind. Attacks from the likes of Brody Chapman of FDJ Suez for Turoscope did spring things back together while Martin was pushing the gap out to about a minute and 25 seconds. With the gap down to 38, Amber Crack of Team Yumbo Visma, freshman with Queen of the Mountains a title in the Tour of Scandinavia, would be the next rider to go on the attack from the chasing group. She would be joined by Mavi Garcia, the Spanish champion from Team UAE ADQ. And again, these two riders would play a significant role in the decisive outcome of this race. A group coming together behind with Blanca Vaz, Elise Shabby, Grace Brown, Amanda Spratz, Shayla Gutierrez also in there with Gladys Verholz, Delaria Sanguinetti, Lara Asensio and French national champion Audrey Cordon Rago with Tamara Dronova and the French rider Juliette Labousse. This group would go through the bell with one lap to go and two significant climbs still to come along the route. 2,114 metres of elevation, though, would take their toll on the legs of the riders. Mavi Garcia on fantastic form this season. Her first attack did put pay to the legs of many riders. But Elise Shabby, Amber Crack, Grace Brown and Blanca Vash managing to go with her on this occasion. Labousse made it back into the group and they would head towards the final climb of Le Lezo, still very much together. The chasers got back into the mix. They would make contact just at the foot of Le Lezo with Amanda Spratt of Team Bike Exchange taking one glance back over the shoulder and launching a move. It wouldn't come to nothing, but on the climb, Mavi Garcia tried again. Shabby going with her. Ilaria Sanguinetti of Valcar Travel and Service was turning herself inside out to stay in the group. And Amber Crack still in the mix for Team Yumbo Visma, the former rower, doing the ride of her career so far. Just outside one kilometre to go, and Garcia tried again. Crack going with her, and this time, no one had any response. They went through the Flamme Rouge and there's a slight descent before the kicker up towards the line. It was clear that the win and the victory was coming between Garcia and Crack. Amber Crack looked back over the shoulder, sprinting on the tops. Garcia, the experience of the Spanish champion, telling and she came through for her first single day World Tour victory of her career with Grace Brown leading the group home in third spot. Mavi Garcia, almost surprised for the Spanish champion, did everything that she could on her favoured terrain of the hills. And it would be that opportunistic move just outside one kilometre to go that would hand her the victory. There's your replay of the sprint. Amber Crack, big glance back over the left shoulder to see where that group are. Mavi Garcia takes the look across. She knows she's got the victory. And the celebration and the smile says it all. There's confirmation of your top 10. Mavi Garcia from Amber Crack and Grace Brown. Sanguinetti, the whole Shabby, Dronova, Vash, Labousse and Cordon Rago, your top 10. The Women's World Tour now moves to the Simac Ladies Tour and enter the Sarah Tizit Challenge by La Vuelta, where Garcia will be hoping to take an overall victory there. There's your one, two, three. So Mavi Garcia, Amber Crack and Grace Brown. Thanks for your company. See you soon. Bye for now.